This video is on hashing. Hashing's goal is to turn something understandable into something that is not. It is a mathematical process that uses a special cryptographic function to transform one set of data into another fixed length that can't be reversed back. Why? Well, one of the reasons is for security. It transforms your password, for example, into something else and puts it into the database. Now every time you type your password to log in, it will convert that password into a hash and compare it to the hash in the database to see if it's a match. This way, even if the bad guys get into the database, they can't find out your password and use it to break into other accounts using the same password. You can hash anything from social security number to your bank account number. The whole point is hashed strings and inputs are meaningless to hackers without a decryption key. Hashing is also good because it enables a quick data retrieval. When you hash, it creates a fixed key which makes it easier to find or employ the original string. A hash table, for example, stores key and value integers in a list that is accessible through its index. Because key and value pairs are unlimited, the hash function will map the keys to the table size. A hash value then becomes an index for a specific element. It is a method for converting a set of key values into a set of array indexes. Hashing also in addition helps encrypt and decrypt digital signatures, which are used to authenticate message senders and receivers. The popular hash functions that will pop up on Security Plus exam are SHA-123, MD-245, message digest hash functions like MD-2, MD-4, MD-5, helps hash digital signatures. Once hashed, the signature is transformed into a shorter value called message digest. Secure hash algorithm, the SHA, used to create a larger 160-bit message digest. While it is like message digest hash function like MD4, it is not the best approach for cryptographic or error checking purposes. However, it does provide more security.